Angie. Good, how are you? Nice to see you here. Thank you for That's having good. us here in Portland. Thank Actually, you. outside of Portland, right? Like an hour away from Portland. Yeah, Newburgh. Completely different from the city. Yes, it's beautiful so, here. So we're here for the first drive of the new 2018 Toyota Camry. Yes. One of the most important cars for the company, right? Yes, definitely. Lots of changes. Everything in this vehicle is brand new. Um, from the ground up, so nothing carryover. So we're very proud of the magnitude of this change, um, and we're very proud of the styling, performance, technology, and the safety features that we have. Packaged. So you said everything is new, but Camry has been in the market here in the U.S. since what, 82? 82. 82, 82. Yeah. So have you ever done like such a radical change, but like everything is completely new? No, not since we first introduced it into the market in 1982. So this is the biggest change since the introduction of Camry. Okay, since everything is new, let's start from the outside a little bit. And we're, by the way, standing here next to the real Toyota Camry, right next yeah. to us here. And then the NASCAR Toyota Camry back there. Yeah. So, I mean, when you look at the car from the outside, like that design, it's something that really strikes yes. a lot of people. It catches a lot of attention because with all the respect, like Toyota has been known for durability, right. reliability. I mean, the cars were like, will never fail or anything but the style wasn't there right right right. yeah so we really want to build upon the reputation that Camry has as a reliable vehicle very durable high quality but we also want to inject that emotion by amping up the styling so the first thing you notice is the dramatic change of the the styling of the exterior of both vehicles um, also we're in an XLE right now it has a very premium styling the front grille looks very different from the XSE, which is oh, just okay. outside. Yeah. So you can kind of see the different flavors. So we're really proud that we have a Camry for everybody. So if you want a more premium look, you get to go with the XLE. If you want a more sporty look, you go with the XSE. So let's go for a short drive and we keep talking okay. about the car. Great. And uh, for example, um, how many powertrains are available for this new model? Uh, there's three powertrains available. So we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder, a 3.5 liter six cylinder, which we're driving now. And then we also offer a hybrid powertrain based on the 2.5 liter. Was there a hybrid in the previous generation? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we've had a hybrid since 2007. Okay. So this is an all new platform. So this is the new all, all new GAK platform. Oh, okay. So this is a because T it's much bigger, right? Yeah, much bigger. This is a TNGA platform, so completely redesigned. This is the first vehicle to receive that that new platform. Okay, and with the hybrid, I understand like the the, the MPG numbers are like pretty almost pretty similar to uh, to uh, a Prius, Prius, right? Yeah. So we're gonna get I think 53 city, 51 highway, 52 combined on the LE grade of the hybrid. So very competitive MPG numbers yeah. on that vehicle. And in terms of uh, technology, which is something that uh, has uh, has been improving in every car pretty much in the past five, ten years. I mean, you have, I think you already made the promise that the Toyota Sense, Toyota yeah. Safety Sense system will be in all your cars by 2000. So, or like what model year was that? Yeah, I think I think as a lineup it's 2018 or 19. Yeah. Um, so very close coming up. So for Camry, um, Toyota Safety Sense will be standard in 2018. So with the launch of this vehicle. And what kind of other technology is there in this car? Um, so Camry is the first uh, Toyota vehicle to get the new Intune 3.0 system. Um, so we're real proud of that. It includes uh, standard navigation for everyone, which is great. So you can get uh, navigation even on our base grade model, the L grade, um, through the Scout navigation uh, GPS app. So um, navigation is accessible, um, which is great. Uh, also, you can get several different um, new features, which one is Remote Connect. Uh, where you can actually use an app on your smartphone to start, stop the vehicle, lock, unlock the doors. And then we also have a, a guest monitor system that comes through that remote app. Um, another thing that's new with Intune 3.0 is Service Connect. So if you have a maintenance light come on in your vehicle or you have some type of a problem, you can opt in. You'll to never a, have a problem. Never have a problem. Never, <laughs> You're never not going to use that a lot. <laughs> that's right. Um, okay, but, but in just case. Just in case. Um, it's there where it will automatically notify your dealer, which is great, and then the dealer can contact you so um, to set a schedule appointment. Um, so very, and they can also send you vehicle health reports, which is nice. So you can kind of see yeah. how your vehicle is performing. Um, so yeah, lots of new features, lots of new technology features uh, with the new Camry. Well, what are we talking about uh, the price range? Because uh, this is one of the most popular 
cars in your lineup for a reason, all the technology and all the, the qualities that we just talked about, but also pricing has been one of the key factors for you being yeah. so successful, right? Yeah, we feel like we're, we have a very competitive starting price, so it's uh, $23,495 for the L grade. Um, so very good, good starting competitive price, and then we go up to uh, max just under uh, $35,000 for our uh, XSC. Which is this? Yeah. Well, that's that's pretty pretty good. Yeah. And and again, like the segment of the sedan, midsize sedan has changed a lot. It's been the number one. You've been number one in the market for 15 years 15 or something years like that. In a row, yeah. yeah. But things are changing. Definitely, uh, the market is definitely shifting towards SUVs. Um, so we feel like bringing this new Camry to market hopefully will um, reignite the passion for the segment and really generate more interest in the segment segment to, to re-energize sales. And still, being down mm -hmm. uh, for a, a big percentage number, still, it's like an amazing yeah. number. How is it? Like 400,000? Almost 400,000. You know, wow, that's like more than a thousand a, a day. Yeah. I mean, that's hard to imagine. Yeah, it's pretty But impressive. it's true. And uh, so where, where is the car built? Because if you're going to sell that many, I mean, it has to come from like different places, yeah. obviously, right? Yeah, so we built, uh, most of our Camrys come from um, North America, actually U.S., uh, from Kentucky, TMK. So they build the majority of our uh, Camrys. We also are supplementing production from Japan. So the Sutsumi plant um, in Japan uh, produces Camrys as well for the yeah. U.S. market. And the Toyota Camry, if I remember well, is the most American car, made car. right? Something yes. like that. How is that? Most American-made components. So we, we just source a lot of our components from U.S. suppliers. So it's funny, even though it's a, a international brand, yeah. it's mostly uh, American-made parts. So. And, and that's the thing. I mean, now being a global world that we live in, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it's obviously a Japanese company, but like, mm -hmm. it's the most American car at the same right. time. <laughs> right. Built by Americans. Yeah, my and, um, I mean, I, I'm really impressed. One thing, for example, that we didn't talk about, the quietness of the cabin. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's something that also has improved a lot, right? Yeah, definitely. The engineers put a lot of time and thought into the way that they um, engineered the chassis and the spot welds and the different stamping models. So making sure that the vehicle has a very quiet ride inside. So really targeting a premium um, cabin interior um, experience. Yeah, without paying a lot for it, yeah. so which is great. Yeah. So another thing that uh, caught my attention is, and I don't know if this is standard in all the cars, but oh. this sunroof is like so big. Let's yeah. count like how long it takes to open. Right? <laughs> you can figure out how long, I mean, like covers both yeah. rows of seats. So is that a feature above or no trims? Or? Yeah, so this is actually the panoramic moonroof and it's standard on the um, X grades, both XLE and XSE V6 models, um, which we're in now. And then it's also optional on our um, four cylinder X grade models. So the new entertainment system is completely new, right? Can yes. you tell us a, a few of the features in it? Yeah, so this is the new Intune 3.0 system that we have. This is our top grade um, level Intune right here that you see. Um, it has the dynamic navigation built into the head unit. So um, what's nice about this feature is typically to update the maps, mm -hmm. um, you have to go to the dealership, they have to load in a new DVD or CD with the new maps. This one actually updates dynamically, which is nice. Like your this smartphone. One yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this one updates dynamically. You don't have to worry about it. If there's new construction and new road is built, it'll automatically detect that and update it, which is nice. Um, this navigation also has a feature called Destination Assist, mm -hmm. where you can use your um, voice recognition system and just kind of give it some general direction, like, I'm looking for some coffee. Where can I find coffee? You don't have to use this specific name, like a Starbucks. Oh, or something okay. Like so it understands so what, yeah. Yeah, it's a little more um, intuitive and a lot more user friendly. So that's a cool new feature that the system can has. Can we try it? Um, yeah, let's see. So I press this button, I guess? find coffee nearby showing nearby coffee okay select the one you want so it, say next page for more items so well, there's a lot of a coffee lot of there different <laughs> options now that it could you know recognize my voice and it shows um, a lot of different options oh that's really cool and uh, so that works with restaurants like uh, movie theater well, who goes to the movie theater anymore Please yeah, try not many people. <laughs> no. okay but, yeah. we can turn that off
Okay. And they also have a lot of uh, apps, right? Like, yeah, so we app have the apps we that we had on have on the previous system, but we've added a few um, new apps. So NPR one is a new one, and you know these apps. If you have a certain um, if you have a certain account, it can actually link to those accounts, and you can see Pandora, your Pandora account on the screen, which is nice. Yeah. So. And I noticed the surface here, which is for the yeah. wireless charging. Yeah, that's Qi compatible wireless charging. Yeah, so actually Apple has to catch up to you, yes. <laughs> not the other way, yes, right? Yes, you can buy a sleeve, which is I know, but like with the but Samsung yes. or the Android phones, you can put it there and it will that's charge. Right. In the, uh, yeah, that's awesome that Samsung has that as standard, so yeah. So we can definitely say that Apple has some work to do to catch up with Toyota. <laughs> We have yeah. the old technology phone. <laughs> but that's like super cool because that keeps, keeps everything so clean out yeah. right here, right? Very convenient, nice placement um, for your phone. So yeah, if, you're, if your phone's capable or if you have a sleeve, just place it there and you can charge automatically. No cables or cords to worry about yeah. plugging in. The other thing that is really, really nice about this car is like this design in the front. I mean, like you can see like there's a lot of work here yeah. and like lines that go up, but everything integrates really nicely. Yeah, our designers really um, wanted to infuse this premium feel in the vehicle and they also wanted to introduce different colors and textures to really make it look more interesting um, and more premium have a more premium feel and appearance. So I bet there's a, a few different options in terms of um, maybe materials yeah. and colors in the interior. Yeah, and the, and the more sporty grades are SE and XSE. You'll see a little bit of different trim, less refined, a little more sporty. Um, this piece looks a little more like carbon fiber. And then you've got, which is really cool on the XSE, you've got a red interior option, oh, which nice. is a bright red with black. Um, so it's really cool the way that those different colors play together. Gives you a different feel depending on which grade you're in. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again Me for your too. time. I really enjoyed it, yeah, and we're gonna keep driving. Pleasure. Beautiful day here in uh, Portland. Yeah, thank uh, we're you. gonna keep enjoying the Camry 2018 here in uh, Portland. Well, Newburgh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.